Yo, what's up everybody? It's Victon here with my first build update for the Freezing Pools Ice Spear Totems Hero Fent. And first and foremost, the build is doing absolutely fantastic. It is super, super, super good in the league mechanic, potentially one of the best out there, uh, which is very interesting. This league mechanic actually rewards glass cannon type builds. Your defenses don't even matter in there, which is pretty crazy. Um, but being a totem build and being uh, semi-glass cannon where we have a gajillion damage uh, is doing really really well in the uh, sanctum right now so really happy on that um, in general the build is doing fantastic there's been a couple changes that I've made to the build which has gotten us even more damage so pretty happy about that and I'm gonna go over that here in this video uh, I also wanted to start with just kind of talking about some um, questions that I've been getting in my stream so that I can kind of give you guys some knowledge that might have been missed in the uh, build guide that I made a couple days ago so you guys can uh, be up to date if you guys are curious or have any questions in general definitely come hang out with me in my twitch chat I'm gonna be streaming the next few days I did like a 16 hour day yesterday I'm gonna be doing some crazy hours in the next couple days as well so come answer or come ask your questions in there as well uh, so first thing is the bandits um, I did leave that out in the video because the path of building, I think they like changed where you used to be able to put the bandits up at the top and I think they changed it. I got to look for that. Uh, but anyways, bandits, what we're doing is we are killing all bandits. Um, second question that I get a lot is when to switch from spark totems to freezing pulse totems. So good news is that spark totems are super, super strong in the campaign. Um, a lot of the like campaign bosses have like little rooms. Um, that are kind of small, like little arenas, right? Uh, and that really benefits spark totems because your sparks kind of like hit the walls, come back at the bosses, and it just does so much damage. Uh, and at that point, also freezing pulse and ice spear just doesn't have as much damage as spark totems. So use spark totems all the way through the campaign. That's what I did. And then right when I got to maps, I went ahead and kind of, you know, I took a good 15, 20 minutes, I sat down, switched over um, to freezing pulse, ice spear. Uh, and then kind of redid a couple of my gym links. I'll talk about that here a little bit when we go over the path of building because you obviously have to change several of your gym links around uh, to be able to get the full benefit of switching over as well. So it's basically just, you know, take a little 20 minute breather and switch your gear around. And at that point, you're going to be blasting maps and it's a really good transition um, at that point. So, yeah. So your first four links for when you go um, Soul Mantle, that's been asked a lot as well. So there's two options that you can do depending on what colors you get um, when you do it, right? So there's two blue, two green, which is the best option. Um, and that option is actually going to be, um, and it's going to be in a soul mantle, right? So that comes with a spell totem. So you don't need spell totem. It's going to be ice spear freezing pulse, increased crit damage, greater multiple projectiles, and cold pen, right? So that's your best four link. Uh, if you don't get those colors, the other option that you could do is two blue, one green, one red. And at that point, you would get Ice Spear Freezing Pulse, uh, Crit Damage, GMP, and Multi Totems. That's your other four link. I went with both of them throughout my leveling experience. I literally had a four link up until I was doing tier 16 maps, and I was crushing it. Uh, in fact, I literally just switched all my gear last night to some newer gear. Um, and up until then, like I said, I was doing tier 16s absolutely no problem with probably uh, minus the six link. Well, actually, I, mean, I guess I was having a four link at that point, and I was probably doing maybe like 40 chaos worth of gear total uh, up to tier 16s, and it went really, really well. Uh, I did hit that six link. I'm going to make another video on the journey to hit that six link, which was pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, so. That was that for the, the four links. A lot of people would ask in that as well. So your fifth and sixth links, uh, your fifth link is going to be multi totems. Um, the problem with that is that not a lot of people are able to hit those colors, right? So two blue, two green, one red. Uh, one quick tip, though, on how to actually hit that is to go to your crafting bench and you're going to type in green up here uh, and you're going to get this right here. So at least one green socket. That's how you're going to uh, get this right so two blue two green one red so it's three off colors it's going to take a little bit but it's not too bad uh, and that's how you hit that right so if you don't get that though if you don't have enough crooms or whatever and you're not able to get that uh, people can do I, i've seen a lot of people do three blue one green one red and at that point you're going to drop cold pin and you're going to pick up cast speed instead 
So that's going to be your option for that fifth link. And then the sixth link, of course, uh, is hypothermia. Same thing there. If you're not able to get those three greens, let's say you get three blues, a green and a red, you would drop hypothermia in place of cast speed. Well, so that's your, your five and your six link. Um, so the pantheons, a lot of people have been asking that as well. Same thing here. It used to be in the path of building, like about the top left, but they moved it around. Uh, and I have no clue where it is now. So I got to figure that out. In the meantime, here's the pantheons. You're going to want to run Soul of the Brine King. Uh, the most important thing there is you're going to capture that Captain Claiborne for 100% chance to avoid being frozen. So we're freeze immune. Uh, in order to do that, you want a divine vessel. Put that in your map device, and you're going to want to run a tier 7, um, what is it, frozen cabin. Um, and, you know, kill the boss, come back out, right-click that little divine vessel, and that's how you get the, the captured Captain Claiborne, right? Uh, and then the second one you want for your miner is Soul of Yugle. Uh, this is for 30% reduced effect of curses on you, which again uh, pairs with the uh, soul mantle. And I'm basically just treating the build as if it's not bugged right now. I went ahead and just got all my curse reduction because I know at some point they're going to fix it. And I don't want to have to switch all my stuff around, you know, when they fix it and just kind of be bricked and just start taking so much damage. So I just, I'm just treating my build like it has um, full curse reduction. And of course, what I'm referring to is the bug that's going on with soul mantle. I have a video that I just released for that. Um, so that's that's in reference to that. But yeah, so that's the minor Pantheon that you want. And it's super easy to get this one. Same thing, Divine Vessel in your map device. Uh, but you want to go to a Terrace Tier 1. Super, super easy for that one. Um, okay, cool. So last thing is defenses. A lot of people have been mentioning that it is a super squishy build. I even made my character name. Too squishy, bro. Just because of how many times I get, uh, get asked this. Uh, and yeah, and it's true. It's actually, here's what I would say. It is very squishy, but it's very safe. Uh, and the reason it's very safe is because of freezing pulse. So freezing pulse basically covers your entire screen and it freezes everything. It is super, super good. And your ice spear, for the most part, freezes even map bosses. Uh, I'm at the point where I have enough damage where I can just use freezing pulse in all of the maps and I just switch to ice spear for like bosses, like guardian bosses and above. Um, so yeah, so it's super, super good. Plus we're just totems in general, right? Uh, so kind of the play style that you do is just as you're running, you just put totems in front of you, kind of like this, right? Uh, and that's what you do. And then I would definitely say never flame dash into packs because you will absolutely like, get one shot occasionally. Um, so yeah, just push totems in front of you as you go. And then if it's bad, just kind of walk away. Uh, and then you're chilling because your totems are still doing damage and taking everything out. So that's kind of the play style. And we also do have Arcane Cloak, uh, which is nice. Let's see how much of, we have. It's an 1800 shield. Not too bad. Uh, we do also have Mind Over Matter. Um, and we have Mind Over Matter on top of the Divine Guidance node here from Herophant. So we have a total of 50% of our damage gets taken from, um, from mana before life. So that's pretty good. So it's basically like, what, another, I don't know, 1400 life on top of this. So technically, technically we've got about 5,000 just like flat life um, in the build, which isn't obviously isn't too crazy, uh, but it's not bad either. And we also have super high regen. Like, look at this region. Look how crazy this mana region is. Um, super good. And our life region is also pretty solid because of the node uh, right here, Ritual of Awakening. Um, which is regen 5% of life, basically. Um, so pretty good when you have all your totems out. And we're curse immune as well, which is pretty nice. So we're not taking any damage for curses. So there's just multiple layers of defense here. The biggest layer just being totem and ranged and freezing everything. So yes, it's squishy. Sure, we don't have the high effective um, hit pool, but you don't know it until you play it. Once you play it, or maybe come watch on stream when I'm playing it, uh, it's super, super safe. Yes, you're going to get one shot randomly, um, but you're also just chilling. I don't know. You're chilling. Uh, at this point, I'm level 89. Uh, I've been cruising on the levels. I have, you know, occasionally I'll die and lose some XP, but uh, for the most part, it's, it's not even a big deal. And I'm not even dying on bosses right now. Like I'm doing deathless mavens, um, elders, shapers, all that stuff. I'm doing deathless runs on those too. So pretty cool with that. So, um, what have we done with the build so far, right? What have we changed from my original path of building? Uh, let's go over that right now. Because it is a little, it's like slightly different um, in a couple big ways. 
So first and foremost is one thing that I'll mention to you guys, because like if y'all are starting out, here's what you can do um, right now during the fact that the soul mantle is bugged. Like what I would suggest doing is going ahead and getting two Dodri's Damnings, which are these guys right here. Dodri's Damning, so you can apply an additional curse, additional curse, and they come with all res. They're literally like one chaos. Uh, so that's what we did with with our build here, since we don't technically need curse reduction. And on top of that, I just went ahead and got curse reduction on all my jewels. Um, so I did all that on my jewels, and I did the Dodri's Damning. I did two of them, and with that, I went uh, Frostbite, Arcanist Brand, Sniper's Mark, Punishment. Okay. So that is your, your three curses that you can use by putting on these two Dodri's Damnings. And it is so much damage, um, like an actual ton of damage. Uh, you could, instead of punishment, you could use elemental weakness. I just have elemental weakness on hit on these gloves. So those are, those are the two options there. You might even want to do probably LE weakness instead of punishment. It's up to you. One of those two is totally fine. Um, and it's, it's so much damage. And it literally, it's one chaos for each of these Dodri's Damning. Once the uh, thing gets fixed, once Soul Mantle gets fixed, I would still say get Dodri's Damning and get your Curse Reduction elsewhere, right? Get the 30% here and then get the rest of yours on Jewels and then go Dodri's Damning. I think that is actually the play up until you do what I'm doing here. It's literally just spending 1KS on these guys and you're absolutely chilling. Um, so super good. So. The other change that I did was the belt. Um, there's two options for the belt. This is the defensive option, which I liked a lot. I did this myself. Uh, it's about 100 life. Well, it's about 100, to, I think like 120 life, something like that. But the big things here is regen up to 300 uh, life per second. It's so crazy. On top of the fact that we already have pretty high life regen, now you're getting another 300 life. It's crazy. Uh, you're also getting 10 mana regen per second, which is really nice. Um, the minus all resist is kind of bad. I would definitely try and get one that's closer to the negative 15 instead of negative 25. Uh, but even this, like this is a really good one right here. And I think I paid like three chaos for it. Um, in general, they're like, yeah, like literally three chaos. Um, super cheap, very defensive, feels very good. If you want to go with the offensive version, you get a darkness and throne which is also three chaos, but you do want to go with the jewels, kind of something like this. The most important thing is two things. Uh, added spell, cold damage while dual wielding is a pretty high one. And also crit multiplier is pretty solid as well. Here was my other one that I had kind of the same stuff, but it didn't have crit multi. Uh, not a big deal, right? So putting these in a darkness enthroned is quite a bit of damage. Uh, let's see here. I'm at 84,000 freezing pulse. I'm going to put this on. I'm at 75, right? So that's even this big boy belt, which is I think like three divines or something like that right now, you're doing pretty good damage compared to it. And then let's put on Immortal Flesh and see what the difference is there, right? So 75 down to 63, right? So you're getting a pretty good amount of damage there. Uh, and it's just your choice, right? Do you want damage or do you want defenses with the Immortal Flesh? Um, cool, so that's that. And that's pretty much it for those. Uh, however, the big thing, that we have changed is this. This ring is bonkers. It is brand new to this league and people have not figured it out yet. Uh, it's probably the best actually for our build. Um, your curse limit is equal to your maximum power charges. We are hero fans, so we get a maximum of four power charges constantly. So you literally don't even have to do anything. You just put this on and you get an automatic four curses actually crazy literally crazy and it comes with some cast speed which is our biggest damage multiplier so that's nice uh a chance to get power charge doesn't matter because we're already at capped four um so obviously some int and some um energy shield is whatever but this is a crazy ring and look how oh no i can't show you how much they are uh they're literally like three chaos literally three chaos a perfect one is like 15 uh, it goes up to 15% cast speed, or you can get a 14%. Like I got this one here, I think I spent like five chaos on it or something. Um, they're relatively common, but there's not too many of them. I think when I checked, there was like 80 of them on the market. So it's nothing crazy, but they're decently common. Um, 
If you're seeing this video, you need to pick one up right now. It's so much damage because with that, we are able to do gloves like these, which are super cheap. I bought these for five chaos, right? So basically you just want a pair of gloves that is curse enemies with elemental weakness on hit. And then you're going to do the Arcanist brand again, and you can do frostbite, sniper's mark, punishment. So that's four damage curses right there. Four damage curses for the slot of one ring slot. Literally insane. <laughs> and it opens up our other ring slot uh, in order to get a damage ring as well. So here's what I got with this ring. Uh, the big mod, there's two big mods on this one, right? So the very bottom thing there is adds 23 to 48 cold damage against chilled or frozen enemies. Uh, everything's chilled. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna click this, let's click this, let's search. These are cheap, what do you know? Um, they're literally like three, four chaos. If you just want like the base, this mod right here. Now, I don't know if there's probably many of these. No, there's not, let's at least do this. There's a couple, and even these, even ones with that big damage mod and some curse effect on you. Um, two chaos, four chaos, nine chaos, 10 chaos. So you guys can snipe those. Um, that's a solid ring. I'm super happy with the ring that I got here. Uh, I got this for one chaos, <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, very good. It's a super high reduce effect of curse, you know, high cold damage on there. Came with some res, uh, came with 63 life regen per second and some energy shield. And it is a unset ring so I can level another gym in there. Pretty cool. I was super happy with this. But yeah, I paid one chaos for this. Uh, so yeah, that's what I was able to do with this ring slot. It's bonkers. It gives us four curses. And the reason curses are really crazy this league is because of how they changed curses this league to affect bosses um, even more. So you're doing so much more damage um, because your curses are so powerful to bosses right now. So super, super good ring. Uh, what else did I do on my build specifically? Nothing crazy. I mean, I went the Coward's Legacy. Uh, I did do that. And in order to get a Coward's Legacy the cheapest way possible, if you want to do this, and I guess, by the way, why it's so strong is because you're considered low life when you're cursed with vulnerability, uh, and then you're cursed with vulnerability, so it's just 30% more spell damage, so really nice there. And it comes with a couple extra things. It comes with some attributes, and it comes with some move speed, uh, so pretty solid. Um, this is relatively expensive. It's about three divine, which isn't too crazy, Certainly for the price, three divine is good, but there's only nine of them available. Um, so the price could go up um, at any moment type of thing. Uh, but what you can do to spend way less currency is you could get the chains of legacy, I think is what it's called. Um, the belt, it's like the base version of this. And then you get a vial of, what is it? I can't remember exactly what it is. Let's, let's, let me do a little Google here. Um, let's pop this up. Vial of Chains of Legacy. Oops, no, that's on Amazon. Hello, Chains of Legacy PoE. Um, let's see here. Vial of Consequence, okay? So Vial of Consequence. So what you would do is you would get the Cowards, or I'm sorry, the Chains of Legacy, and then a Vial of Consequence, and then you would purchase from the trade uh, the temple room that says Apex of Sacrifice, which is a tier three room in the temple. Um, you would go run that temple and you would take that uh, belt and you would take the vial and you would put it in the sacrificial or corruption or whatever. They could, I think it's a sacrificial like altar or something. Uh, you combine those two together and you get Coward's Legacy and you save. Uh, I think like a whole divine or something crazy like that a divine half a divine uh, Whatever it is you're saving some currency, which is pretty nice. I think total I spent like a divine and a half for mine um, So I saved you know divine and a half so pretty happy with that purchase um, The ring or I'm sorry the the wands a lot of people have been asking kind of what to get on these I did not craft these myself there. I have no clue how to craft this Um but these are the exact mods that you want. Obviously mine are low, uh, but these are the mods that you want, right? So the most important thing that you want is level of all cold spell skill gems. Second most important thing is cast speed, as much cast speed as possible. Third most important thing is crit multi. And fourth most important thing is spell damage. 
um, get wands like that and you're gonna be doing mega damage mega damage uh, I think I literally paid what I think I paid 10 chaos for this one and 8 chaos for this one something like that so like I said up until you spend money on your six link and then you're like you know cowards legacy this is such a cheap build it's literally under 50 chaos uh, for all this gear that I had to get up to about 6 million DPS last night uh, and then now I'm at let's check uh, what my DPS is at now Here's my path building. I'll link this in the description for you guys. It's at 12.6 million if the curses were working, but let's take that off because it's not working right now. So we're at 10.5 million DPS right now. Uh, pretty good. Like I said, I'm able to kill Maven in about two seconds or like phase her in about two seconds with this damage. Um, so pretty happy with that. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Let me just go down here, see if there's any last thing. Uh, I like this flask. Um, I mentioned it in the video, but I, I didn't probably mention it enough. Uh, this flask is super good. It's like one or two chaos. Um, skills cost no mana during effect. And you're almost always able to keep this up because you're always spending mana and you're always reaching mana. And while you're regening that mana, skills cost no mana. So it's kind of like a buffer to your life because, again, we're mind over matter, right? So very good. Uh, I was able to get this Heat Shiver for one divine. Uh, it also has Ice Spear fires additional projectiles on you, or projectile, which is the best enchant for Ice Spear. It's a ton of damage, ton of damage. Um, so I got that. I got a 20% self-flagellation. I think I paid like 8 Chaos Ward or something like that. Um... And then, like I said, I, I get, I would have three of these jewels right now. Yeah, I have three jewels with reduce effect of curse on you with the tier one roll. Um, and I think that pretty much covers my build. Uh, if you guys have any questions, like I said, uh, ask in the comments, but also come to the Twitch chat. Uh, that's literally why I stream. I'm here to answer questions for you guys. Um, and yeah, that's all I got on this one, guys. Definitely going to make a full in-game guide, but I wanted to get this out to you guys today just to kind of show you uh, where I'm at with the build, what I have done. Like, I, I guess I didn't mention this yet, but I've completely cleared the Atlas. Uh, I've got all four of my Watchstones at this point, um, and tonight I'm going to start selling boss skills because I'm just doing tons of damage, and it's going fantastic. Uh, a lot of you guys have been mentioning that you're loving the build, so that makes me happy, all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Um, and yeah, keep at it, keep grinding it, and let's have a great league. Great, the league's been going so good so far to me. I've had a great time, uh, and I hope you guys are too. I'll catch you guys in the next one.